Hi there, Shanna Kramer here, and welcome to Creatively Uncorked. I know we have a couple of people, several people that are going to, that we're waiting for, that are coming in with their art kits, getting ready to paint. Hi, Jesse. I see your, uh, <laughs> I see your post. That's awesome. The whole family getting ready to paint. That's great. Okay, so we'll give everybody a few more minutes to get here, but while we're waiting for them, I just wanted to cover what we have in our art kit. We have, some of us have brushes. We all have uh, six different colors of paint. We all have a canvas. You guys have sketch canvases. I have a not sketch canvas. And I just have a non sketch canvas so that I can walk the people through it who did not get a sketch canvas. Easy peasy, nothing to it. Okay, so feel free to leave comments, ask questions. I know we do have, we are working with a delay that is actually about 30 seconds. It's a pretty long delay. So if you have questions, ask away and I will answer them as soon as I see them. So the painting that we're working with, this is what you have in your cheat sheet. Everybody that got an art kit got their cheat sheet with their printout. And uh, this one is pretty complicated. So this one is done on a much larger canvas. The original was, we're going to simplify. So this is the simplified version, which is going to be in a, the nine by 12 that we all have. So it'll be a little bit simpler. This is a lot of little detail that we don't really need to mess with. So it'll be fine. Okay, looks like we are getting a few more people in the room. Fantastic, welcome everybody. Don't forget to say hi. All right, so for those of you that I'm sure you all know who Creatively Uncorked is by now, right? Uh, I'm Shanna Kramer and I'll be your artist for this painting. Creatively Uncorked has been around for a little over six years now. We do studio events, we do kids paintings, adult paintings. We do have beer and wine in our studio if you're over 21. We do mobile events where we bring the party to you or to towns within 100 miles of Fargo-Moorhead. Um, let's see. We have two rules that we have today. Rule number one, have fun. Rule number two, no negativity. This is fun art, not fine art. <laughs> if you have any trouble, just take a break, take a breath, and get back to it. All right, so I have here, I'm going to take this big sheet and set it aside. We don't need all of that right now. And this is what we're going to end up with. This is going to be our reference painting. Those of you that had the art kit, you have your little cheat sheet right here that you can keep an eye on. The colors that you have in your kit aren't going to be exactly the same as this. On this one, I added a little bit more green, that turquoisey color, because it's my favorite color. And the oranges are going to be a little bit brighter. The red is metallic, so that's a really fun one. So the colors will look a little bit more like this one. Okay, so go ahead and let's see. Before you open up your paint, if you have your paint and you, you're ready to open it up, go ahead and do that. If you have a blank canvas and you're ready to start sketching, let's do that. So the first thing we'll do, we'll compare it to our little cheat sheet here. And we have a horizon line where our ocean is, and that is about one third of the way up. So if you cut your canvas into thirds, it's about one third from the bottom. And that'll go about halfway across. And here's my, here's my cheat for uh, drawing a straight line. I'm bracing my hand on the bottom of the canvas. See if I can stand up and do it a little better. I don't think I can. Okay, that is my straight line. Oh, and for those of you that do have sketched canvas, that was freehand sketching, so your suns aren't going to be perfect circles. It's okay. <laughs> you can paint over that and make it better. All right, so then I have my sun right about here. And then I have my wave, which comes up below the sun and to the left. And it comes up in an arc right around the sun, dips down, back over to the other side. This should be showing up pretty clearly. All right. So, and any of these pencil lines, you're going to be able to easily cover over. So don't worry about it. 
And let's get those paints opened up. So I have my yellow, my orange. And those of you that picked up the kits, I think you should have more than enough paint to do these paintings. I know it doesn't seem like a lot when you're looking at it in these little kits, but it should be more than enough. And there should be extra white and extra blue. So in case you wanted to paint your edges, white and blue would be the colors to go with. Otherwise, definitely focus on the front of your canvas first. Okay. Oh, good. Showing up great. Hi from the family. Hello. Oh, connected it to the TV. That is a great idea. If you can connect your video to a TV, that's wonderful. Okay, so I have my brushes, and these are the brand new brushes that came with your kit. If you ordered the kit that came with brushes. And if you did not order a kit that came with brushes and you're going to use your own, I'll just make a slight different recommendation. So I, this flat brush, a smooth flat brush, is a great brush to work with with this because we have these smooth lines that we're going to be working with. But then toward the end, we have these little uh, wave splashes. And for that, a small round might be a little bit better of an option. So it's up to you. If, we're, if you have the kit, we're going to use our small flat brush. And if you have a small round brush, just keep it handy as an option. Okay. So back to the sketch. I know. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Hi, Adam. Uh, so the, this is the sketch that you all got on your sketch canvas. We're going to take it a little bit farther than this. So if you have a pencil handy and you have this canvas, I just want to make a couple of small notes. So right here where we see our sun and then we see the reflection on the wave and you can see the angle that that's going at. So it goes from the sun, points straight out. So from the sun, points straight out. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just drawing edges on that area. This is going to be the highlight on our wave. Of course, it's going to be a little bit, you know, jaggedy. Right? And then we have another highlight to work with, which is going to be a little bit lower on the inside of the wave. Again, it's going to be a reflection pointing at the sun. Okay, and just go ahead and squiggle your edges. Don't worry about these pencil lines. These are all going to be covered up with paint. Not a big deal. All right, and then the only other line we'll worry about on our wave, we have this really dark area, the edge of the wave. And that one will start at the top of our wave, and it's not very thick, but kind of a thin one, right off the edge of the canvas. And that's it. Nice and simple. That's all we're going to worry about. All right, so how many of you have done a lot of color mixing? I imagine most of you have. Most of you have been to Creative Land Cork before, right? So what's going to happen when we mix our orange and our blue? Pretty gross, right? <laughs> it's going to turn gray, not something that we want. So to work around that, we're going to add our warm colors first, our cool colors last. So the warm colors are going to be red, orange, yellow, white, of course. And so we'll add our, our sunset, our sun, we'll add in our reflections, then we'll come back and add in some blue. So first thing we'll wanna do is we'll start right down here on the bottom with this orange color. So it's going to be a little bit of orange. I'm just dunking the brush in the orange, just a little bit. A little bit of yellow, just dunking a little bit in the yellow. And then I'll go to my sun. I'm just above the horizon, right below the sun. And I am going just a little bit over the wave. That's just fine. We don't want any blank canvas, so it's okay to go over the wave. This time I'm dunking the brush in a little yellow and a little white. Going up a little bit higher. Okay, we'll do that again. A little yellow, a little more white. And if you can do this and keep your paints relatively clean, keep doing it this way. If you are worried about messing up your paint and you have a paper plate handy, you can just pour a little bit of, uh, pour a little paint right there on your plate. Otherwise, dipping right out of these cups will probably work just fine. Okay, so I've got my main sunset. Now I'm going to add my second sunset right over here on the left. 
exactly the same technique when you're ready to. Go ahead and wipe off your brush on your paper towel. Okay, and if you have a cup of water handy, that's great because you're going to be putting your brush in there when you're done with it to keep your paint from drying on your brush. All right, my second sunset, I'm taking a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow, over to the left side of my canvas, right above the horizon. And if you just brush it on smoothly, and you'll notice when I'm brushing the paint on, I'm just overlapping the brush strokes, and that'll make it really smooth when you work your way up the canvas. So you'll have a nice smooth sunset. Very nice. All right, so we have our orange, we have our yellow. You can see our sunset fades up here into blue, but we're not going to add that yet. We're sticking to the warm colors. So we want to next take our orange. Actually, let's add a little touch of red, little touch of red, tiny little corner of red. And we'll go right to the, right almost to the water, just above the water. On both sides of that wave. And smooth that out a little bit. How are you guys doing? When I'm in the studio, I can walk around and see how everybody's keeping up. So if I'm going too fast, let me know because I can't see you. Or if you're brave enough to post your progress, do that too. All right, moving on. So now I have the brightest parts of my highlight. The sun highlights, that's going to be a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow, just dipping the brush in both colors. And I think I'll go right directly below my sun, so I'm still in the water. A little bit of, when you run out of paint, go ahead and dip more. A little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow. Just going all the way down to the wave. We'll come back in on the edges and blend a couple more colors. So let's see. I do want that to come all the way over to the wave though. There we are. And while we have this paint wet in the reflection, I'll just take a tiny, tiny, tiny little corner of red. There, now I'm just blending waves. You see what I'm doing a little bit differently this time? Instead of holding the brush flat and smooth, I'm painting with the edge. So I'm putting kind of the edge down there. And so now I have kind of water waves. See the difference holding the brush flat? Okay. Wiping off the brush again on a paper towel. If your brush is really dirty, you can always give it a good swish in the water and then wipe it on your paper towel. All right, let's start with some highlights. This time I think I wanna do some yellow, little yellow, little white. Now here I'm on my wave. And see this time I can paint over the areas that I just painted. Again, I'm painting with the, just the little edge of my brush and that's gonna give me this streaky water look. All right, I'm getting a little bit away from the sun there, so it's getting a little darker. So I'll move up to my second highlight. Tell me if I'm going too fast, guys. Let me know if you're keeping up or if you want me to explain anything differently. So the nice thing about lives is that uh, you can ask questions. I might not get those questions for a little while because we do have a, a delay that's at least 30 seconds, but I'll get them and I'll answer. All right, so now we've got our highlights in here and now I'm going to add some orange into this. So just dipping straight into the orange. And I'm going on both sides on the bottom. I'm starting on the bottom of this highlight, painting with the edge, not the flat. Okay, top of the wave, I'm also going to be bringing in a little bit of orange there. And let's do some red. And the red's going to be mostly on the outside. We want to keep our yellows. I'm 
Okay. And that's looking pretty good. So I'll move on to the next one. I've got my yellow highlights up in here. So next color, we'll do just like we did here. We'll take the orange. And we'll go right to the top of that. Try and keep my hand out of the camera so you can see what I'm doing. There. So now I'm blending that nice little orange right around the yellow highlights. Next color is red, just to the outside of the orange. And these colors are going to blend into each other a little bit, and that's just fine. And if we need to come back over these again at the end and just like just make our colors a little bit richer, a little bit fuller, we can do that. Okay, I like how that's looking. So my next color is purple. I'll give you a few minutes to get caught up on that. Hi, Brittany and Emily. Are you guys in Minnesota? Are you guys uh, waiting out the whole school closing? So is it, I heard this, but is it true? Are the Minnesota schools only closed for a week or is it for longer than that? Hi, Brie. Is it Brie? Hi, Lena. Hi, Kristen. If you have any question, guys, go ahead and pop in and let me know. Otherwise, keep on commenting. Keep me entertained. Okay, so we are doing pretty well on our highlights right now, on our oranges, on our warm colors. I have some bright sunshiny colors down in the lower left and that's going to be mostly orange and a little bit of red so i'm just coming in here kind of a little bit straight down from the sun and kind of to the left just bringing in that nice blend oh sorry about that <laughs> okay Thanks for letting me know. See, that's uh, the downside of doing this on video only is that I can't, can't keep up with everybody. I can't walk around the room and see how everybody's doing. And this, this paint along that we're doing, this is the second ever live paint along that we've done on our Facebook group here. And this is the um, first time that we've ever done it with a paint kit or with an art kit. And some people did a lot of people actually did pick up their kits between today and yesterday. Some people got brushes with their kits. Some people just got canvases and paints. Um, so for those of you that got kits, let me know how you think it's working out because I've already got a list of things that I want to do a little bit differently next time. Um, so if you have any ideas for su uh, suggestions for improvement, happy to hear them. Uh, because I do want to do a few more of these um, paint-alongs, these live paint-alongs, because Right now, everybody is kind of stuck at home. I know a lot of people are under quarantine or they can't go to work. The kids can't go to school. Uh, we need to stay entertained, right? I want to be able to paint with you guys, even if you're not coming into the studio. So live paintings, that's how we're doing. Um, can you pause a live video? I'm actually not sure. Give it a try. <laughs> Give it a try. Let us know when you get back if it works. At any rate, if you uh, if you can't watch the whole thing or if you didn't start right, right away at the beginning or you want to go through it again later, I will be saving this video in the Facebook group. So if you want to come back at a later time and re-watch it, repaint it, it'll be available. Hi, Corrine. How are the kids doing with the video? Um, yes, there will be a video reference. This video will be saved in the Facebook group, so you can come back and watch it at any time. So if we go through a little too fast and you want to pause, yep, you can definitely do that. Okay, <laughs> all right, fair enough. So. 
focus on the kids and then uh yeah and then you can definitely come back and paint this on your own at any time um and i'll try to slow down a little bit and make sure everybody can stay caught up also this is a little bit of a challenging painting i posted a few different uh, painting options in the group last couple of days ago and this is the one that was voted on it got all the votes so but it is a little bit more challenging than some of the other options the next video which i think is going to be possibly next monday night like not tomorrow but next monday night um just because our studio is closed on mondays typically so that's just the easiest night for me to be able to do videos if another night works for you let me know that too um, but I think Mondays are when we're going to be doing the lives. Let's see. Okay. So. The lines out in the way of reference from. Let's see. These lines out here. Oh, from the sun? Maybe that's what you mean. So the lines and the waves are referenced from the sun. So we have our sun, and then the reflections are always pointing away from the sun. So if you have the sun right here, then just follow it out, and the bright spots are going to be in the areas right directly away from the sun. And same with down below the sun, the bright spots and the wave are going to be right below it. That's what you're talking about, right? The horizontal lines from the sun? <laughs> if that's not what you meant, let me know and I'll explain it a little bit differently. Um, the, those would be the only kind of horizontal lines I can think of right now. The only other one would be right above the water, the water line. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll add a little bit more in Actually, you know what? Why don't we fill in our sun? We could definitely do that now. Now, if your if I drew your sun a little bit wobbly, because circles are hard to draw, um, I can show you how to make it a really good circle. So you have your flat brush, and this is a half inch flat. The best way to do a circle, you just dip your brush right in the red paint, put it down in the middle of the sun, press, twist. I know this is kind of hard to see on video because it's directly below it, um, but you're pressing and twisting. Twist all the way around and then lift up and now you have a circle of sun. Okay. So I'll let that be just plain red for now and then we do have a little bit of an orange or a yellowy area to bring in later, but I'll let the sun be red for now. So give that one a try. It's pretty simple to do. I'll see if I can show you a different angle here. I'm pressing straight down onto the plate. You'll be on your canvas. Press it down and twist. There you go. Now you have a circle sun. Hi, Britta. How are you? How's Jamestown treating you? It's Jamestown, right? <laughs> if you ever make it back to Fargo, stop by. Okay, how's everybody doing with our sun? All right. We can come through here and do a second layer if we need to. Uh, once we have our, because we have our warm colors in here, we have our nice bright colors in there. We have this little bit of a purple to mix in right before we start with our blues. So give it a second. And once we start mixing our purples, this is going to be a really good time to have a separate mixing plate. So if you have a paper plate handy and you can mix your reds and your blues, um, because we're still going to need those colors to be a little bit pure, so we don't wanna mix them in the containers quite yet. Or if you don't have a separate mixing plate, if you have the lid that came with your kit, you can mix your paint right in there. And maybe that's what I'll do. So I'm just taking a little touch of red. And what I'm doing right now is mixing up the purple and the purple is what's going in here between our wave reflections. So I'm just mixing up the purple, taking a little scoop of red into my lid, scoop blue into the same lid, 
just mixing that up. Okay, looking pretty good. So if you want it to be a little bit brighter, you can just add a little more red. If you want a little bluer, of course, a little blue. And then with your purple paint, I'm just going to the outside of the red between my wave reflections. And this is a little bit dark here, but don't worry about that. It's actually the contrast between the light and the dark that makes it look really reflective. So if it seems really dark, that's okay. And again, I'm just using the, the lead edge of the brush just to scribble this on there. And if you want that purple to be a little more blendy with the red, just pick up a little bit of red on that purple brush. And just blend the edges. So your edges will be a really reddish purple. Lovely. So just go ahead with your purple right around the other edges. I have a couple more edges right down in here, so I'll take that purple off of my lid. And coming down this time below the lower right reflection, so to the bottom right of the sun. See, and then I'm just, once I have my purple laid down on the canvas, and I'm just picking up a tiny little scoop of red there, and then just blending that in. Hi, Peggy. And whenever you have too much paint on your brush, just go ahead and wipe that off in the paper towel. I'm back up here with my purple again. I just have some, a little bit right up here at the very top of my red on my wave. This will be the last part of the purple for now. And oh, just add a little tiny touch of red to that just to blend it. And as long as you're following the flow of the wave, it's going to look like a wave, so it'll be just fine. All right, how's it going out there? I think my my reflections are looking pretty good now you've got we've got all the bright parts we've got all of the reflections so when we come in here and we start adding our blue this is really going to add some dimension to our wave so then we're really it takes shape and it's going to look like it's flowing and it's going to start to look like water right now it did, doesn't really look like water all that much so when you're finished with your reflections and you're ready to move on with your blue, just go ahead and take your blue cup and we'll just go right into this and start mixing. So I want to come kind of, I think I'll start with my lower left. Right, so I've got my, my ocean off in the background there. I'm just pulling flat blue right over the canvas. So this is my oceany blue. There. And then if you hold the brush flat, you can see how I'm turning the brush so that it's horizontal and just using the edge of the bristles. And there, that's getting my kind of water waves shape coming in. Gonna 
grab my reference. Hey, look, I'm done already. <laughs> I'm just going to grab my reference photo out from under. So now if we look at this one, which is what we're going to end up a little bit closer to, I've got blues in here and I've got turquoises in here. And these blues and turquoises are kind of flowing together to give you more of a Caribbean vibe, I guess. Um, it's a kind of a nicer color, I think. So we'll be doing a li little bit more with the turquoise in here. So now I've got my blue down in the lower left. Just taking a little touch of that green, that turquoisey green. And just blending it a little bit in. And if you've managed to overlap your wave at all, like I did here, don't worry about it because we're going to come back over that with a little bit of blue as well. Just a tiny touch. And no, I'm not rinsing my brush or cleaning my brush at any point in here because we're all we're doing kind of just a lot of watercolors right now, which is going to be the blues, the turquoises. We'll put some white in there. In a couple of instances, I'm just blending it into colors that are already there. If you do end up with a bunch of extra color on your brush, just wipe it on your paper towel. That's it. No need to worry about it. So now I also have a little bit of background. I have a little bit of background sky. Go ahead and finish your water on the bottom first, and then we'll want to finish up our sky. We want to work from the background to the foreground. Sky being in the background, we'll want to add that behind the wave, and then when we bring the wave over the top, it'll hide any edges that might have shown up. Okay, so I still have my blue, so I'm just taking a tiny touch of blue, flat side of the brush. How's it going with the kiddos, Jesse? I can slow down again if you need me to. Go just a couple of broad strokes all the way across the canvas with that blue and now I'm just going to dip into the white being a little bit more careful this time I just want to take kind of the edge of the white so I don't mix in blue with all of it and I'm going right kind of below the blue with the white just below it so you see how I've got this really sharp line there right now it's okay I'll come back and blend that in a minute I'm just taking the white and blending down I'm just staying to the left of the wave. So now this time when I come back up to the top, I'm blending all the way across the blue. See, now I'm getting that nice blend, that nice gradient. You can do that again on the right side. So just picking up a little white, going directly below the blue. Just put down some streaks of white. I'm just blending this all the way down. We want this, all, this is the sky, and we want it all the way down behind the wave. And then when we come back up, blend it right across the blue. There we go. Now we've got a nice gradient sky from blue to white. And even a little bit of purple. <laughs> you might not have that purple on yours. Hi, Natasha. Okay, I'd say that is looking pretty good right now. I think I want to come down here to the lower right and add some of my darker darks. Hmm, do I? I do. So I'm going to come down here to the lower right. And you can see the three different colors I have mixed in here are going to be the blue, the purple, and the green, or the turquoise. Green, turquoise, same color, just using the terms interchangeably. So I'll start with blue, because I have the most blue of anything, so I'm just going to scoop up some on my brush. Coming down to that lower right corner, just go ahead and fill in all that area that doesn't have paint on it right now. Go ahead and fill that all in. And now this time my wave does come up a little bit higher. I've kind of covered my pencil line a little bit with paint, but 
that's okay if you can still see it or still make it out so I'm going to add my blue and then I'll come back and mix my other colors so just putting down a layer of blue and now that while that blue paint is still wet taking a little touch of green just dropping some color in there not not blending it too much just kind of dropping some color in there there and let it be don't over blend if you can take a little bit of your purple and just drop a little of that in there as well just be careful not to over blend or you're going to end up with one big wave that's all the same color and we kind of want a little bit of variation in here Hi, Mindy. So for those of you that are just joining us, uh, we are painting Big Wave is the name of the painting. And this is what it's going to end up looking like, something pretty close to this. A lot of the people that are painting with us today are using art kits, um, art kits we had for sale on the website where they could purchase either the kit by itself with just a sketch canvas and some paints and a little cheat sheet or they had the option of also getting brushes with their kit. Um, and for the people that got brushes, these are the brushes that we're working with. Some nice smooth flat brushes. And I, because I do want to keep doing these live videos, I think it's really fun to be able to paint live. Uh, and if you want to come back and watch us next time, which I believe is going to be next Monday, not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow, uh, I'll post a couple of different painting options on the Facebook group here when we're done and you can vote on which painting you want to do and if you want to win an art kit then go ahead and comment in the group right now comment on this video with the word win and then I'll choose a winner from everybody that commented with the word win and I'll set you up with an art kit for next week so if you want to paint along next week don't know what the painting is going to be yet I won't know until you vote on it um, but yeah, I think we'll we'll do this again next week. Uh, we'll be refining the process a little bit. Don't worry. <laughs> this is our this is our first go here of doing a live paint along with an art kit. So we'll be doing things a little bit differently probably every time until we uh, until we get until we get it right. Well, I bet we'll probably still keep changing it then because <laughs> you can never be perfect, right? So my goal is to just keep getting better at this because. It's fun. All right. Well, good. A couple of people want to win. Fantastic. And any comments, questions, if I'm going too fast in the painting, anything at all, let me know. Okay. We have got a lovely wave shape going on in here. So to come up here and finish our wave, and what we're doing is adding our entire background color first. If we need to come back and make any adjustments to our wave, add any additional colors to our wave, we're gonna do that in a minute, uh, or after this first layer dries. But the first thing we wanna do is cover our entire canvas with paint. If you paint with us in our studio, you know that uh, we usually take breaks. <laughs> and that gives everybody a chance to let their backgrounds dry, um, to go get something to drink, um, walk around the room for a little while and this one we're just going to kind of keep right on going so you go ahead and take breaks as you need to come back when you're ready and if you're watching this replay later on just hit pause if I'm going too fast for you hit pause catch up and then let's go okay so back to my reference photo so when I get up toward the top of the wave here this is going to be kind of a blue, pure blue on the outside of the wave. So this very top edge of the wave, the inside of the wave is going to be green, turquoise, turquoise green, green turquoise, mix with blue. All right, so I'm taking my blue now and going to the top of the wave, blending that all the way down. And this paint is nice and smooth. It should blend nicely.
And just so you know, if you're uh, ever wanting to get the kids out of the house and go, go do something, go do a live painting in person, for example, we do have kids paintings in our Creatively Uncorked studio every Saturday, 10 a.m. And those are one hour long paintings. If the mom and dad want to paint, they can, uh, they can get a ticket as well and paint alongside their child. Otherwise, hang out in the parents' area, go shopping for a little bit and come back. Um, yeah, every Saturday. Otherwise, kids age six and up are welcome to any event in our West Fargo studio. So, and we have them every day of the week. Once we have our big blue wave covered in, then we'll go to our green, just scooping up a little bit of green. And I'm putting this right on the bottom half of the wave. There, and then just kind of do a couple more brush strokes, just like we did in the sky where we got that nice blend. Go right up into the blue and that'll blend nicely. There we are, now we have a nice Caribbean wave. Yeah, not looking too bad. I wanna add my horizon in here. So go ahead and keep working on your wave. Get that perfect or however you want that to be. And I wanna add a horizon line in here. I think that'll make my water look a little bit more complete. And I wanna add some touches over on the right hand side of the wave of the blues and the greens. And you don't have to be a kid to paint at Creatively Uncorked. We have adult paintings every day of the week. <laughs> um, so Saturdays we have a 4 p.m. public event and a 7 p.m. public event. Those are for age six and up. Um, we have you pick the painting, which is you can paint anything that you want. Um, we have hundreds of paintings in our library that you can choose from. Or if you want to do something of your own, you can do that. Uh, or you can even choose from a wood sign. And those are every Friday night at 7 p.m. So now on my horizon line, I have a little bit of blue on the end of my brush here. Just gonna drag that right across, right on the horizon line. There we go. Now my ocean is a little bit more defined, separated from the sky. Okay, just to make it look a little bit more watery, just that little touch of blue on the brush and I'm holding it horizontal, barely touching the canvas. Just a little, little bit of zigzags, just right across the water. And that's gonna give me my kind of watery wave look, tiny little speck of paint on the end of the brush and just barely touch the canvas. There, now we're getting some waves. Okay, we are almost done with our first layer. So the last few details that I want to add in here before letting this dry for just a couple of minutes, I have these darker blues and greens that are coming in right from the bottom. I'm going to blend into the waves and then just a, a few splashes of blue in here to kind of help with the continuity of the wave color. Um, so we'll just bring in a few blues in there. Okay, so that's we're starting right down the bottom of the wave, taking just a small amount of blue on the brush, just a little bit of blue down at the bottom of the wave. And this is very similar to our water wave. So I'm just using the edge of the brush and just lightly brushing on some of that blue color. When you totally run out of paint, go ahead and get some more. There we are. There, now, it's, now we're starting to get some of that nice blue-green in there. So while this blue down at the bottom is wet, I'll do the exact same thing with the green. Just a tiny little speck of green. I'm just bringing in a little bit of green. Because that blue is wet, this should blend in with the blue and you're going to get that combination blue-green. Don't, don't over blend it. Um, if you have the, the blue and the green, it looks a little bit better, I think, than if you have just blue-green mixed. 
Of course, this is your painting. I'm not your mom. <laughs> you can make this look any way you wanted to. All right, so that's looking pretty good. And then I'm going to bring in some more of these blues just up a little bit higher and kind of blend in with the edge of the wave. You can keep working on this at your own pace. Um, every You probably have a pretty good base to this already and may not need to do these extra steps. So if you don't want to do these extra steps, by all means, don't worry about it. Just adding a little touch of blue in here. And just a little, little tiny, little bit of speck of green. Just a small little tiny green. There. Now I feel like the wave's kind of feeling pretty, pretty wavy. <laughs> it's a good continuous looking wave right now. I'll bring down a little tiny touch of blue at the top. Although I'm a little less worried about the top of this wave than the rest of it. Because as you can see, we're going to put splashes, white water splashes over it. So just a little bit of blue. So this is kind of a, a good uh, the way that we're going to do all of our paintings. Just generally speaking, we're going to do the background, which is kind of not very neat. You just kind of put the paint down and try to get it close to the right color. And then we'll do a second layer of a little bit more detail. Um, and then often some parts will have a third layer, which will be even more detail yet. So you just keep refining your painting a little bit more as you go and you kind of build up layers. So we've done our background and then we're working our way forward. And the most forward part is going to be and our water splashes. So we will get to that and yeah I think this wave is looking pretty good right now. So that is a pretty good first layer. So I'm just going to set my big brush down and let this painting rest for just a minute. Um, this is a part where we would take a break, um, maybe go blow dry your painting, maybe go get something to drink. So this is almost dry enough so I'm just going to give you guys a chance to catch up. And hi, Samantha. So for those of you that are just joining, so I was just talking about how we want to do these every week. And to be able to keep doing these every week, um, or to encourage you to come, in, come back next week, if you want to win an art kit, you can comment with the word win and then your art kit will have the paints that you need and it will have your blank canvas that's pre-sketched if we need to be if we need to have pre-sketching and you will also have a cheat sheet like this is the cheat sheet that came with today's painting so if you want to win an art kit so you can paint along with us next week type win in the comments and we are not mailing out art kits at this time <laughs> so it is something that you'll have to come into the west fargo studio and pick up um, but it's pretty simple and we'll have everything ready for you and we'll have your name on it this time. Hi, Diane, how are you? Good to see you. And I don't know what we're painting next week. I'll post a few options in the group here after we're done painting today. And you guys can vote on your favorite. And next week, if we end up with one that's pretty challenging, I'll try to give you a heads up, <laughs> just so you know. Okay. ready for some details. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. This sun right in here, we have this little yellow highlight on the edge of the sun, and then we have some really bright highlights in the water below the sun. So I think that's the part that we should tackle next. So I'm just taking that brush, setting aside. If we were in the studio, I would tell you to leave these in the, in the water cup, but they're your brushes. So you do what you like with them. <laughs> if you want to leave them out of the water cup, just give them a good rinse first. You don't want to let the paint dry in the brush. That will shorten the life of your brush pretty significantly. All right, so this time we're switching to the small brush. For those of you that had an art kit, you'll be using the small flat, the small quarter inch flat. And I like to always dunk my brushes in water first. And I'll start with that little orange area the yellowy area on the edge of the sun. So I'm going to take a tiny little dot of yellow 
and a tiny little dot of white. Just like before, I just have the two colors on my brush. I'm kind of leading with the skinny edge again along the lower left corner. Do suns have corners? I think they don't. I think this one does. There, I'm just blending that in. So now I have a bright spot on the edge of my sun. Kind of almost moony looking, but I'm still calling it a sun. Below that, I'll add some highlights. For that, I think I'll take both my white and my yellow again. A little speck of yellow, barely any. And a little dot of white. Just like when we were doing the waves, I'm holding the brush flat, horizontal, to the canvas. Barely touching the canvas, almost not touching the canvas at all. A little bit more white, I think. And just right directly below the sun. Just do some kind of little skips. You don't want to cover the whole thing in solid. This is kind of a water reflection. So you're going to see the reflection just right on the waves. Very nice. Okay. A couple of other places where you're going to see that really, really, really bright reflection is our highlights on our wave. Remember the highlights go directly out from the sun. So if you point at the sun, that's the direction your highlights go. A little bit of white. I'm looking at my bottom right reflection in the wave. Not filling in the whole thing, just some bright areas. Same thing with the upper right reflection that's inside the wave. And when your paint or when your brush runs out of paint, that means you have enough highlight. All right. And then I kind of want to brighten up the very inside of this wave, the very brightest part. Okay, so just dunking the brush, little tiny brush, little tiny paint, and I'm just going right on the inside of this wave. Not going overboard, just adding a little bit of a highlight there, separating it from the background. Okay, I think our wave's looking pretty good. What do you think? Wave good. We move on to the end of the wave. So we'll leave the inside of the wave alone for now. And then we'll work on our splashes on the edge of the wave. All right, I'm going to take my teeny tiny small brush just drop that in the water. I'll switch back to my big brush. And slightly different technique. So this time, instead of dunking the whole brush in the paint, just one corner. I'll start right in here. So we've got all these little squiggly water, water drops. So corner of the brush down and just squiggle. You're just, again, barely touching the paint, or the brush to the canvas, just a little bit. And just with the corner. That is looking pretty good. So go ahead and add a few splashes. Some of the splashes come a little bit back further on the wave. A lot of them are out here. And also we are staying kind of on the bottom half of the wave. We want to have this dark ridge of wave. We want that one to show so that we do have a separation um, there. So we have some splashing on the inside. Okay, and we're going to kind of we're gonna bring that little water splashing kind of around the whole edge of the wave. So I'm just working my way around down the inside of that wave. Just adding a few more little splashes in here. Corner of the brush, little bit of paint, barely touching the canvas, reloading paint often. If you have a kit, you should definitely have more than enough white. I sent extra white for everybody. So this should be pretty easy to do. 
So just keep right on adding your splashes. And for those of you that do have kids, I know this isn't going to help today, but we do have kids camps coming up this summer. We have a different camp each week all summer long. So check out the calendar, creativelyuncorked.com. I just added a bunch more kids camps today. So whatever you, uh, pretty much whatever kind of a camp you wanna go to, it's probably already on our calendar. Um, we have uh, a llama camp, who doesn't love llamas? Um, we have a unicorn camp. We have Earth Week, and that one's gonna be really fun. Paige will be teaching that, and she's really excited to be planting succulents and making planters, and she's got some really fun ideas planned um, for different kinds of paintings that you can do like totally made up. Um, hi Liz, hi Christine. Like she's not using paint to make these paintings. It sounds like it's gonna be really interesting. Okay, so one thing I'm doing here with my water is I have just a little tiny dot of paint on the end of the brush. And I'm just dabbing, kind of dabbing. Just little dabs, just kind of bounce your brush. And that's gonna make some little splashes. And just keep right on going. We have a lot of little water drops here, so take your time, have fun with these. And for the new people, the ones that just came in, um, I'm planning on doing these paintings a little more often, the online live paintings. So if you want to win an art kit, the way this is working is that um, a lot of people were purchasing their art kits on the website. Some kits come with brushes, some kits don't come with brushes. All of the kits come with the paint, with the cheat sheet, and with a pre-sketch canvas. So if you wanna win an art kit so you can paint along next time, Go ahead and comment with the word win, and I'll choose a winner for next week's painting, which will be a week from tomorrow. And you guys, if you hang around after the video, I'll be posting a, a question. I'll post a few different photos or a few different paintings um, on the Facebook group, and then you guys can vote on the one that you wanna do, whichever one gets the most votes. We'll be painting that one next week. All right, my water splashes are getting a little out of control here and I have this big splash coming in right down the back of the wave. So I'll show you the trick on this back of the wave one and then you guys can just go right on ahead and add your water splashes. So I'm just taking my brush and just kind of globbing it up with paint, kind of a lot of white paint, and just going start, oh, hi, my kitty. <laughs> and just use the corner of the brush and just do a little, little wiggles down the back of the wave. And just kind of go over and over and over that with little wiggles. And that'll be a little kind of a, an organic, natural looking wave, splashy look to the top of that wave. Hi, Amy. How are you? Been a while. So now if you do comment the word win and you do win an art kit for next week's paint along, uh, that means you do have to come into the studio and pick it up. I'm sorry, we're not yet mailing them out. That's might possibly be something we'll do in the future. Um, but for now, it's something that you'd have to pick up in the studio. So. If you win, just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw in a few more bright splashes here and there on my wave.
And the reason that I'm doing these, the online videos, is because I want to be able to keep painting with you guys. And I know a lot of people right now are not able to leave the house or on quarantine or they have kids home from school and they can't go to work or working from home or whatever. Um, and you can't come into the studio for some reason. So I just want to be able to keep painting with you. And so that's why I'm doing this. Any members of the uh, Facebook Insider group are Creatively and Quirky Insiders, and you can watch us. Also, this we're doing live right now, but this will be recorded, and I'll keep it in the group. So if you don't get to paint along today, and you want to try again, you know, later on, um, when you can pause, for example, if I'm painting too fast, you can pause it, you can fast forward it, you can whatever, um, when you watch the replay. So that will be available in the Facebook group, just so you know. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Hi, Cody. How's it going? Yeah, so I think we're looking pretty good. So now this version and this version, they don't have anywhere near as much detail as this original version. And like I said, this the original was done on a much larger canvas. So we have the opportunity to ha make a lot more detail. Um, today we're working with a little tiny uh, 9 by 12 canvas, so we just can't fit in all the detail that you can with a larger canvas, but that's okay. And if you are not using these brushes that came with your art kit, if you're using your own brushes, and if you're using a small round, which is definitely recommended for some of these waters, I'll show you the trick for that. Yes, my kitty is meowing. She's my, she's my studio cat. I'm at my home studio today. <laughs> So, Irie, she's my little studio kitty. She's a, she walks around here and meows at me. So, little cutie. So I have a, my round here and I'm just loading this up with paint. And I just do little dots. Because water splash is kind of a waves, right? Big waves do, for sure. So just go ahead and add some water drops and water splashes wherever you want them. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. I think this is a, a pretty okay wave. Um, if we wanted to, we could come back with a second layer. I'll leave this up to you if you wanna go ahead and add more detail to your wave or if you want to stop where it's at. Uh, the only thing, if you wanna go further, if you're wondering where to go farther with this, I would say enrich your colors a little. So I've got, we all put that you know, first layer of yellow and orange on there. And if you wanna just brighten that up a little. This is something that you could do. Now, I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying that this is something that could finish up your painting. Just a little bit of those highlights. And instead of mixing our colors, we'll just do a little bit of yellow on the canvas, a little bit of orange on the canvas. And then that lovely red. And if you got your red in the kit, this is a nice, nice metallic red. It's really shiny. It's really nice. And then we just use the red and the blue to make that, that purple that you see in there. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you want to win, type the word win. If you uh, want to come and paint with us at the studio, please do. We will be open. Um, I know a lot of people are, are staying home and are not going into work, but we are going into work and we will be open. Um, yes, we're sanitizing the heck out of the studio, um, but we're definitely going to be there. So you are more than welcome to come in and paint with us. You'll have, we're kind of gapping people out a little bit. So instead of putting six people to a table, we're putting um, like three people to a table. So you're going to have a little bit of your own space. Also, if you would rather just do a private party instead of being with a bunch of strangers, you can do that too. Uh, more information is at creativelandcork.com. And uh, private parties, you can just invite your own friends, um, your own family, your own people, so you don't have to be in a room with strangers. It is a 10-person minimum, so, you know, get the whole group together. But that's an option if you're, if you're not wanting to attend a public event. Um, but at this point, I think, I think we're pretty, pretty safe. We're pretty okay. The studio's really clean. Uh, but, you know, use your own judgment. 
In the meantime, we're doing some paint-alongs right here on the Facebook group. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for tuning in. We had a really great crowd tonight, and I'm sure we're going to have more people watching in the future. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.